Welcome back to another episode of This Week on Channel 9. I'm your host, Christina Warren, Senior Cloud Advocate. And I was in Dubai for Microsoft Ignite, the tour, last week. And so I bought this awesome outfit. And like, what do you think? Cool, right? Also, thanks to Jess and Jeremiah for helping me get my very first pair of Jordans. You can't see them in this video, but they are black patent leather and amazing. Okay, enough clothes talk, but like, for real, this sweater is so cool. Anyway, let's get into this week's step news. So as always, we're going to kick things off with a little bit of event news. And so first up, by the time this airs, we will be just one month away from Microsoft Build 2019. And Build is our flagship developer conference, and it is at the Washington State Convention Center in Seattle from May 6th through 8th, 2019. And I'm going to be there doing tons of videos and live talks alongside your favorite developers, and we would love to see you there too. And so registration info is linked in these show notes down below. And I'm also going to be adding some links to some videos that we've been doing around town, showing off some of the best places to eat and drink and be merry in Seattle. In other event news, Microsoft Ignite, the tour, is closing out its first year, and we've got a few more stops, including Mexico City, Stockholm, and Mumbai. And I'm going to be in Stockholm and Mumbai, so if you see me, please say hello. Um, I love saying hello to people who watch our shows. And links to the tour are down below in the show notes. And next week, we're going to be kicking off Create Startups, which is a new um, day-long event series all about helping startups get more technical and business expertise. And I'm so excited about this series, which is going to be in cities across the globe. And I'm going to be in New York and Toronto next week. So if you're at either of those events, please say hi. And links for more information are down below. But if you're a startup, like no matter what stage, we want you there, so uh, come come join us. I also want to go ahead and give a plug for ML for All, which is a machine learning conference, which is taking place in Portland from April 28th through the 30th. And my fellow CA, Lena Hall, who's a totally amazing engineer in person, is a co-organizer, and this is a conference that's all about breaking down machine learning in an intuitive and approachable way. Plus, it's in Portland, which is a really awesome city, and it's the week before build, so if you're like, already planning on spending some time in the Pacific Northwest, this would be a great event to check out. And so links and more information are down below. In some non-event news, this week was all about the massive, massive, massive Visual Studio 2019 release. And so on Tuesday, Visual Studio 2019 for Mac, Visual Studio 2019, both of them became generally available. And we had an amazing online launch event here on Channel 9. And I've got links to all those sessions and the keynote down below. And look, there is so much good stuff in Visual Studio 2019. I've got links to some blog posts highlighting some of the cooler things. But let me share a couple of my favorites. So first off, Live Share is now included with Visual Studio 2019. And if you're not familiar, LiveShare is an amazing way to collaborate and do pair programming from your IDE with someone else across the world. But like this is not screen sharing. It's sharing access to code from your own editor, and it works with Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, and it's awesome. Uh, some other highlights include uh, IntelliCode. There's a, a more refined UI. There's a brand new C Sharp editor for Visual Studio for Mac. And there are tons of tweaks. And so like I said, I've got a link to some highlight videos and blog posts. But there's so much good content at the Visual Studio 2019 launch event, so check all this stuff out. Also, Visual Studio Code's March update came out this week, and so this adds some more refinements to the editor and some cool stuff for extension authoring. Um, and at the Visual Studio 2019 launch, Scott Hunter walked us through all the new stuff that's going to be coming to .NET Core 3.0 and why this is such a big deal, so be sure to check that out. In some Azure news, Azure Front Door service is now generally available. And so Front Door is a networking service that basically helps optimize your web traffic for your application across the globe. And so it's a traffic load balancer, but it's based on HTTP rather than DNS, and that really makes it ideal for web apps. And so in addition to doing global HTTP load balancing, Azure Front Door has its own SSL offloading capabilities. It has a web application firewall for protecting against distributed denial of service attacks, cross-site scripting attacks, and more. Anyway, it's really cool, and I'm super excited that it's now in GA. And in some Azure App Service news, Windows Server 2019 support is now available for Windows containers on Azure App Service. And so this is in public preview. Also, Azure Security Center got some new features, including advanced threat protection support for Azure Storage. And speaking of Azure Storage, over on Medium, Ari has a great article about how to fetch Azure Storage blobs using JavaScript. All right, now it's time for my pick of the week. 
So CinemaCon is an annual trade show for people in the movie exhibition business. So like, think movie theaters, uh, people who do concessions, uh, ticketing companies, uh, people who make projectors, chair makers, whatever. Anyway, it was this week in Las Vegas. And I used to go to this show every year and look, as much as I love my job at Microsoft, I do miss going to CinemaCon. Anyway, it's also a great excuse for movie studios to show off new trailers and sneak peeks of uh, movies to get everybody excited. And I get excited because that means more movie trailers. And so my pick of the week is the new trailer for DC's Joker movie, which is coming out this fall. And I'm gonna link to it down below, but it looks amazing. Let me know your favorite new feature of Visual Studio 2019 in the comments. And also let me know what movies you're most excited to see either this summer or this fall. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like on YouTube and also subscribe to our channel, Microsoft Developer, for all the latest nerdy goodness. I'm going to see you next week where I will be recording remotely from Toronto.